Hey guys, so uh, really quickly, um, I decided to do this impromptu reading on a vision that I had. I had a vision at 119 today, all right? When you add that up, you get 11, okay? 11 is angelic guidance, um, amongst other things, all right? So um, I had this vision at 119 today. I have felt kind of like, like drifted off to sleep or whatever, I had uh, kind of drifted off to sleep while sitting down at my desk and I had this vision. It was like a clear picture. It's just like, it's almost like I'm watching TV. Um, it's pretty much of a, of a clear picture in the distance. And so in the distance, I see, um, this street side, like this street leading up to a, uh, building. It's uh, not a very tall building. It's like a short one story building, um, could be white or gray colored, um, building with like, um, white or, um, white or, um, with like white, um, it could be a white color building or a light gray color building. And then they have like white curtains or shutters or white blinds. And I see yellow tape and I see police kind of standing around. So it's like a yellow tape right in front of this, uh, residence or, Oh no, it's not, definitely not a residence, but, uh, in front of the building. Okay. And, um, I just see like just a uh, yellow tape. It looks like it appears to be nighttime. So this is definitely at night. Um, and this building has windows. It's just window. It's like a one story building that's either white or light gray. And it got windows like, um, a clear glass window in the front. Okay. And it got like white I don't know if it was white curtains or white shutters or blinds or whatever. So it was a very quick vision and I got, and I, and I snatched myself out of the vision because I've noticed myself going to sleep and I was listening to something. I was trying to stay up and listen to it. Uh, one of my podcasts, I was trying to stay up. I was drowsing off and shit. So I got this vision while I was pretty much like dozing off or whatever. So that's pretty much what I got out of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yellow tape, obviously it looks like, I don't know if it's like a store or some type of business where, you know, something happened, you know, where there's a yellow tape and there's police officers standing around. I didn't see anything else. I didn't see like, you know, what caused the red, yellow tape, but usually when you see yellow tape, you know, there's some kind of dispute, some act of violence has taken place or whatever. All right. So it could be a convenience store or some type of place of business an establishment. <sighs> All right. Uh, so today is April 8th, 2021. I added the date up just for numerology's sake, and it's, it adds up to the number nine today. So this is a karmic completion. Okay. So this is like something that's closing something out, a karmic situation being closed out. So I decided to um, go to the tarot to get a little clarification um, on the vision. So take it how it resonates. If this goes to anybody, um, you know, especially this weekend, you know, springtime, it's a lot of festivities. People are going out, people are having parties, you know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. So what I got out of this is that we got the four of wands in the reverse. So that's automatically about parties. I'm thinking about like parties, party, party crasher, you know, this could also mean like cancellations of a party or a party being cut short. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Maybe a police shut down the party, you know, that type of thing. Party being cut short. And this party being cut short or the police coming is due to this King of Cups right here. So we have a a, a King of Cups right here, uh, emotionally cut off, uh, immature uh, man. Could be an older, uh, older guy or just a person that's... Um, it could be a water sign too, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but just uh, a, a male, you know, um, boss man type of thing, being kind of like a tyrant. So you kind of have this water sign male, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, being a little tyrant, you know what I'm saying? And um, basically starting some shit, you know, uh, being, uh, you know, they're emotionally cut off, they feel in some type of way. Uh, with the Two of Wands and the Five of Swords, yeah, they pretty much is coming to this party uninvited looking for a fight. Okay. Cause when you see the, the four of wands in reverse, it can mean that, um, you know, the party gets shut down, the party get canceled. Um, there's, uh, somebody crashing the party and they fucked shit up for everybody, that type of thing. Um, and this is something that somebody was thinking about. They was planning on doing it, planning on, you know, pulling up and just causing, causing a ruckus. 
Um, and I feel like the person is coming. The reason why I said uh, party crasher, I feel like this King of Cups is a party crasher. Okay, this King of Cups have been planning or knew about this celebration. And um, they're going to try to skirt, pull up on it, and then, um, you know, start some shit, you know. Uh, um, just because they feel in some type of way, you know, in reverse, you know what I mean? Um, all right. So just be careful about that. They may not feel welcomed at this party. They probably weren't welcomed or something like that. So they're coming here, um, you know, uh, with a two of swords, trying to make an, a man's trying to meet face to face with somebody, um, that's at this party or this establishment or, or this place of business, whatever. And they come in looking for, um, looking to resolve things, right? Cause okay, this is the five of, of swords, right? So this has some, a couple of meanings. So they probably were looking to try to, um, they were either looking to, okay. So they, right now they're feeling some type of way, but I feel like they've been planning on this. They've been thinking about it. Okay. And I'm also seeing like the internet here. So I don't know if this will be like kind of revealed on the internet or whatever, but this person wants to meet face to face cause they really want to have it out with somebody for some reason. Um, that's at this celebration. Okay. They want to have, have it out with this person with the five of swords in a reverse. Okay. They really want some beef. Okay. They ready to make their imaginary beef into a reality. You know what I'm saying? This is the imaginary beef probably online, social media. You know what I'm saying? They watch it from afar. They see, uh, that, that a celebration or an event's about to go down and then they going to come over here with a shit. Okay. Um, so five of ones is also about a person trying to I feel like this King of Cups in reverse will try to come under the false pretenses of trying to um, resolve the conflict. You know, they, they may come acting like they're trying to resolve the conflict and then it ends up escalating into some type of like violence. OK, hence why I see the police and the yellow tape uh, um, going across this uh, white building with clear windows and white drapes or white blinders or shutters. OK, blinds or shutters. All right. So they come and they try to start some shit, but then they end up, you know, and then this card also, um, means like they get, okay. This person tries to come and try to act like they trying to, um, like they're trying to be cool with you, you know? Uh, but they have some false pretenses. It ends up escalating to violence because they were not welcomed. Okay. And, um, and also, uh, this card is about, public humiliation, shame. So they may come trying to extend an olive branch and gets publicly shamed or humiliated in front of everybody. Okay. Or maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe this King of Cups, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or just a, any, if they got water in their chart or they're just like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a, um, uh, immature, tyrannical, um, King, you know, uh, male identified energy. They come in, They've been planning on this shit, watching from afar, and they've been having beef, you know what I'm saying? So now they come in and they trying to act like they're trying to extend an olive branch. And then it's like uh, right after that, it escalates into, into violence because they, they try to attempt to uh, humiliate you or attempt to um, try to embarrass you or, um, you know what I'm saying, like vilify you uh, in front of the party. And, okay. And then after that, they, with the five of pentacles, you know, they get left out in the cold. They get kicked out of the party. They get left out. Um, this could be an argument that had to do with money, probably humiliating somebody about money, what they have, what they don't have, or some type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a Pentacles card, so it's about finances too. So this person's coming here to try to embarrass you, try to start some shit about you, um, you know, at a party or an establishment. It could be your own party or establishment. Um, that they come in to cause trouble in, cause a ruckus in, and with the five of pentacles, you send them on their way. Okay. So obviously the, um, with my vision, the police already kind of handles it, I guess this person gets left out in the cold. Um, you know what I'm saying? Feeling defeated, embarrassed, humiliated. And then, and then because of that, then uh, this is like, uh, I feel like because they get embarrassed or humiliated or because they try to attempt to embarrass or humiliate you, um, that they, that the vi that violence ends up escalating. So be careful about that. If you guys are, you know, uh, partying, congregating this, that, and the third, cause I didn't get this vision for nothing. All right. I didn't get this vision for nothing. Okay. So yeah. So the five of pentacles just show that they, they're going to be basically, they shouldn't even bother coming cause they're going to be looking stupid walking away. 
uh, with their tail between their legs and this, that, and the third, you know, uh, this person could be unhappy. Maybe this is the reason why they come into this establishment. They could be unhappy because you left them out in the cold. You didn't give them any energy. So they coming over here like, bitch, you going to see me. You going to see me. You know, that type of shit, <laughs> you know? So very tyrannical, bossy type, emotionally cut off, emotional fucking idiot. Okay. That's been hating for a long time. Even on social media, cause I see the world wide web. You feel me? Holding their, they've been, they holding a stick. So they've been holding back their, their energy. They've been, they've been holding back a lot of like bad energy towards you, like shooting negative energy, energy towards you. They, they've been planning on trying to, you know, uh, they've been planning on, they've been watching on the internet. They've been planning on trying to, um, come and crash your party or rain in on your parade. Okay. So that's exactly what they coming for. So definitely be mindful about that. And like I said, yellow tape, that's pretty serious business. Okay. All right. Today is, uh, like I said, April 8th, 2021. So nine is completion. So this is a karmic situation. This is a situation with a karmic. You guys are dealing with the water sign, uh, male identified energy. That is a karmic. Okay. All right. Uh, 119 is when I got the vision. Okay. I don't know what hour, what planetary hour it, it, it was. I should have uh, actually um, looked it up, but that's okay. I'll leave it in the comments what the planetary hour was. For some reason, I'm being called to look that up. Um, and this is a um, uh, 119. When I add it up for numerology's sake, I get 11. So this is, could be um some of y'all could be doing like a, maybe like a twin flame type of thing um and yeah this this is pretty much that pretty much what i'm getting out of just the time it's just 11 oh yeah and angelic guidance so if this, this person tries to come to your establishment or come to your celebration on some bullshit they gonna you know spirits gonna take care of that situation swiftly and they're gonna be sent on a way you know whether they get arrested um, you know, there's escalating violence, you know, somebody gets hurt, God forbid somebody gets killed. And then there's like yellow tape and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it might be some type of like, you know, escalating violence. So if you guys have any type of beef with somebody, this is definitely a warning right here that there could be some violence. And then one person's going to be embarrassed, humiliated, left out in the cold, um, possibly, um, arrested with these two cards, you know, being arrested, left deserted that type of thing. So that's pretty much all I wanted to, um, to, to share, um, about this, uh, vision. Cause sometimes I get like random visions like this when I doze off, when I'm like half sleep and half awake, you know, I guess you could say in a meditative state. Like I remember, um, was it last year? I think, yeah, I think it was last year. I was laying in my bed. I wasn't even sleeping cause I was sitting there listening to some music or a podcast or something. And I'm just laying back and, I, and I'm on my, I'm laying on my back and I have my eyes closed and just for, uh, it was like a quick little vision. It's not even that long. It was a quick little vision. This one, this vision I had today was a little bit longer. I was able to see, but, but this vision was just a few seconds. And what I saw was a ambulance shooting down, down a road, not even a street, but a road. So it looked like it was somewhat of like a rural area. Cause I see, um, it's like an evening time. Like it happened during the evening time. And I see like an ambulance going, just, just racing down the street, you know, with the lights lit up and beep, 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 you know, the siren. And I just see a lot of forests, like, uh, forests. Um, what is it? Yeah. I just see a lot of like forests and shit like that. So it makes it like, like it was like a rural area. So I got that out and then I, and then I kind of like, you know how I had this vision again when I was kind of like in between sleep, like drifting off. And then I count myself like I did today. And I woke up and I was like, huh, I was like, that's weird. I see an ambulance. I was like, hmm. Anyways, I didn't say anything about it. I typed it into my notes, my notes app on my phone. Anytime I get visions or dreams that I can remember, I kind of like type it together. So I just typed it and then I was like, okay. Then, um, I don't know how, how much time went by. I'm so sorry. I don't even remember how much time went by, but I want to say it was a month, like a month or so I'm getting. So like a month after 
the month like after um I had that like quick little vision I ended up getting a call from my aunt and um she told me that my cousin in another state in the DMV area had gotten into a car accident um a bad car accident too it wasn't fatal but it was bad as far as like the injuries that he got he had ended up getting some injuries um think to his leg it was a lot of damage to his leg I guess the lower body so I pretty much saw his ambulance, but I didn't know what, who, what, when, where, why. I just seen an ambulance racing down the fucking street. I mean, I'm sorry, racing down a road. It wasn't even a street because it's not a city. It was racing down like a country road with, with, with forests on the side, like trees and shit, tall ass fucking trees. And that's what it looks like out there where they live at. So when I found out about that, I was like, oh, dang, you know, is he okay? Da, 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 da. You know, he da, da, da. You know, he's recovering. He's doing okay now. But, you know, it's a pretty bad accident, blah, blah, blah. And after I got off the got off the phone, for some reason, Spirit kind of nudged me a little bit. Like, bitch, you just had a vision, remember? And I was like, oh, shit. And I forgot to share it with my auntie. I forgot to share it with her. But I was like, oh, shit, yeah, I sure did have a vision of a... Of a um ambulance or whatever racing down the street but I just wasn't sure what it was about or who it was for you know so it's like little stuff like that I be getting little visions like that you know um so I guess it's just like some kind of warning or something like that so today um I got that vision um again at 119 or whatever and I got that vision this this afternoon and this vision was a lot more longer a little bit a little bit a couple seconds longer than my usual visions. And I don't even get visions often, not clear like that. Like I'm talking about clear in my, like when you close your eyes, you see, you literally see like, it's like you're watching TV. I, I swear to God, I, I, I literally see a picture, like a little tiny little TV and it's playing a little scene for me. I, I think a couple of, maybe about a week or two ago, I was laying down in my living room and I, um, again, I drifted off into a meditative state again, like dozed off. And when my eyes was closed, I could literally see, uh, people talking and looking at a TV, speculating on something. And I'm like, and I thought to myself, cause I was kind of high. I ain't gonna lie. I thought to myself, like, am I being watched? Is this the Truman show? What the fuck? Like, why, why am I seeing a TV screen when I close my eyes or some shit like that? It just looked like a little, I don't know. It looked like I saw like a TV and I saw like, like I'm sitting, like I'm standing behind some people that's watching TV and I'm looking at them point at the TV. Like, look at that. Oh my God. Look what happened. Like that type of shit, you know? Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share this and I am going to probably, um, I'm thinking about talking to my loved ones about it. Um, just in case they decide to go out this weekend. I know that there, I do know a couple of family members that are having parties this weekend and there's a lot of events going on this weekend. So I'm just saying, I'm not sure if the message is for them. I'm, I'm not sure if the message is for anybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's this springtime and you know, uh, things are starting to go back to normal. A lot of places are in the orange tier level. So it's going to be a lot of events where people are going to meet up with each other and drink and, you know, and have a good time and just be aware of party, party poopers. If anybody come at you, just make sure that you kind of like, um, ha handle your shit, but handle your shit in a way like you might end up going to court type shit is what I'm trying to say. Be careful about escalating violence. Somebody trying to push you to the limit to make you fight. Okay. Try to start some shit with you. All right. At your own establishment or at your own celebration party, whatever. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to, to, to share, you know, about this vision. That shit was clear as motherfucking day. That's just crazy. Um, so that's just a warning because like I said, you know, everybody's going out drinking everybody. There's a lot of, you know, like, uh, just recently there was, um, a shooting in Virginia beach and they were having their own little outside party or some type of yearly celebration. And two people got shot. One of them was on the bad girls club on season 17 to Shayla, to Shayla Harris, rest in peace to her. So it's like people are, you know, it's, it's cool when this, when it gets warm, but like when you live in certain areas, it gets kind of scary when you, when it's warm, because when it gets warm, people start acting a motherfucking fool. And because of the quarantine and how everybody had to stay home and keep their fucking foolishness at home. Now people can't wait to spread their bullshit out in the street, you know? So just be careful. 
I'm not, you know, party responsibly. I do see some party cancellations or some party being shut down or party being crashed or ruined, but still proceed on with your party. Have a good time. Do what you do. Just be mindful and, and watch the crowd. People watch and see who starts shit and you can nip it in the butt because you can always shift the energy of this reading and nip it in the butt. So um, if this resonates with you in any way, just let me know. Okay. All right. God love you. God love me. Bye.